Your body is a reflection of your thoughts. I pause for a moment to, to ponder that. Your body is a reflection of your thoughts. What does that mean? I'm going to tie four different quotes together and I'll put the reference to each of those quotes in the notes. The first one is James Allen who said, a man is literally what he thinks. He continues, character is a complete sum of all of his thoughts. Another reference says, there are three things necessary to exercise faith unto life and salvation. And one of those three things is to have a correct idea of Christ's character, his perfections, and his attributes, or God's character, perfections, and attributes. And that adds light to the first quote, a man's character is a sum of all of his thoughts. So if we're to develop character, we need to watch our thoughts, we need to allow virtue to garnish them, and let them be pure thoughts, so that it will de be defining point of our character. In the process of developing a character like God's, we need to purify our thoughts and have good thoughts and think on and see good in others because you will find what you're looking for. If you're looking for bad, you're going to see bad in others. If you're looking for good, you're going to see good in others. And when you praise people, there's increase. Praise is essential. And the fifth Point that that comes from another book I'll reference in the bottom is chapter six is called the, the law of increase where it talks about praise when you praise you get more so your thoughts ought to be praiseworthy your thoughts ought to be praising that which you see because all things denote that there is a God all things are symbolic of God essentially including your body and your thoughts are reflected in your body so the third reference that I had is, it says, your body is a perfect recording device. And I'll make note of that in the name of this address. It's 2014. It was called Made Holy in the Body. It was an online broadcast. Your body is a perfect recording device. So whatever you take into it, food, thoughts, reading, entertainment, etc., etc., it's going to be reflected in your body. What is your body reflecting? What is your body radiating? As a new age person might say, what thought vibrations are you emanating? Because you are what you think. Man is, as James Allen said, literally what he thinks. And finally, the fourth one is, it comes from a special book that I really enjoy this prophet leader who said the following, I cannot tell you all the things whereby ye may commit sin, for there are diverse ways and means even so many that I cannot number them. In another sacred place, scripture to me, it defines sin. Sin is to not recognize the voice of the Lord and to not come unto him. That is essentially sin. So if we are watching our thoughts and purifying our thoughts and allowing virtue to garnish them, then we are hearing the voice of the Lord because God is good and he is in all things. So. And then after that, the next verse of that prophet leader was said, watch yourselves, your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. So let's be mindful of our thoughts and use our body to be a litmus test. Is our body reflecting pure thoughts? Is our body reflecting one who is square with the Lord? And if not, the beautiful thing about these resilient bodies that we have is that they can change and that they can be enhanced, if you will, and trimmed down, and you can have joy today by making changes in your life and, and clearing up those thoughts and turning those thoughts to the Lord so that He can turn your weakness to a strength. So in conclusion, I'll start where I ended. Your body is a reflection of your thoughts.